um, were you more excited about the interception or more in pain about the shoulder? I was excited about the interception for sure. You know, I feel like I definitely felt it at first when I landed, but, you know, whenever I can make a play like that, you know, at the end of the day, you're playing football and things like that happen. But, you know, for me, you know, I felt it, it hurt, but, you know, I, I finished the rest of practice just to, because I was getting good reps and I just feel like it's an opportunity I couldn't pass. So just going out and finishing, even though I was going through pain and then getting it checked out after. You didn't know it was broken? No, nah, see, I didn't know it was to the extent it was. You know, I knew it hurt and I could barely raise my arm up, but, at the end of the day, you know, I'm a football player, and that's my mentality, you know, go out and finish, you know, finish the day, so. How much of it, I'm sorry, go ahead. How much is it a, a mental thing when you're trying to come back? Because now, you know, it's not like you're playing a, a, a timid position. you got to go and hit somebody. How much of that was a hurdle for you to get to this point now and knowing that it's, no fear of re-injury, I guess. Yeah, you know, I feel like the biggest thing is just the mindset. You know, the uh, the docs and trainers, they're, they're going to put you on a path to, you know, be safe and come back when you're ready. So, you know, for me, I got to trust that, that I'm ready and then, you know, go out and, and play the style of football I know, you know, being physical and being intelligent and just seeing things and just being able to play fast. So, you know, once I got back on the field, I feel like I, it wasn't a hiccup or like, you know, being scared to hit, you know, I feel like I went out there and, and, and did, you know, played the way I like, so. How much? You never want to miss time, but rookie year where I, I imagine the learning curve is so huge to miss training camp. How did you make up? How do you make up ground? Like, were you doing extra study? Were you doing more film than you would have been doing? How do you make up the lost ground? I feel like you know, to begin with, you know, I watch film, you know, a lot in general. So you know, when I got hurt, it was uh, just continuing that, you know, getting mental reps, you know, on, on practice and preseason games, you know, hearing the call and trying to make it, you know, as I see it. And just, you know, uh, I was, the coach asked me to make, you know, some scouting reports for a couple of the preseason games to, you know, steady tight ends and quarterback mannerisms and just try to pick up on that. You know, I feel like I had good ground from OTAs as far as the playbook. So it wasn't too much more I had to learn. So, you know, I uh, just continue to build off that was the biggest thing for me. You say coach asked you to make scouting reports. Is that Jerome Henderson or is that Wink? Who is that? Oh, yeah, it was both the DB coaches, you know, Roman and Mike, you know, just yeah. uh, pick up on things that safety needs to see and just being able to process that and see it as a coach was big. Tired of wearing red. You're probably not going to wear red for a while, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was, it was definitely good to be back into, you know, regular jersey, you know, just being back, you know, a, a full full participant in practice. So, you know, uh, I anticipate not wearing the red, hopefully ever again in my career. So, you know, definitely it was a good feeling, though, to be back. Yeah, friends, family coming to your first game, anything? Oh, yeah, definitely. My parents, uh, my brother, my girlfriend would come. You know, I feel like my parents have only missed one game in my whole, whole life. You know, it was Penn State uh, during the COVID year. Uh, 2020. So everything else, they've been every game. So you know they'll come up this weekend and be able to see me play and spend time with them would be great. Did you get to pop anybody yet with the shoulder? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, yesterday having pads on, you know, being able to fit guys up, you know, in the run game, on special teams, all that. You know, being comfortable, uh, you know, using the shoulder again. You know, I feel like it's not any hiccups. You know, I feel like I'm, you know, fully back. So. Big relief when they said no surgery? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, they, I got the results right away, you know, pretty instantly. And they were like, you know, we feel like this is going to be something that can heal on its own. So it's a, a waiting game. So, but at the same time, you know, you can do exercises to build the strength up and then just, you know, like we talked about, stay locked in mentally. So that was really what I was doing. What do you think, what do you expect your role to be here? Like third safety, some sub packages, uh, play a little slot? What do you think? Yeah, I would say pretty, uh, you know, a lot of things. You know, I'm going to do whatever the coach needs me to do type thing. So, you know, whether that be come down in the box, play high safety, you know, especially on uh, special teams is important. So, you know, whatever the, the coaches need me to do, I'll do it for sure.